all of a sudden no one could travel anywhere so we we decided to pivot and try and write another record you know it was kind of we were kind of forced to just hang out in australia you know back at home and just do something so we wrote this record and yeah basically we had an an unlimited sort of amount of time we didn't really have an end date hey guys Howdy. 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 Welcome to Happy. Thanks for joining us. No worries. I love the uh, time difference chats because uh, I'm having my first coffee and if I'm not mistaken, those look like pretty refreshing seltzers. Yeah, they are refreshing yes. seltzers. It's currently 4 p.m. here in, in Salt Lake City. Fuck yeah. Okay, so I, I do want to congratulate you on the record and talk a bit about that, but you guys are mid-tour. I did a thing which it sounds insane that I've done this for the first time. I actually realized today that you can put multiple locations in Google Maps and actually map out a, a path of like locations. I've, I've only done point to point. You're, you're midway through a West Coast ish tour. Yeah, we're, we're kind of getting into the more central parts of the states now heading to Texas. But yeah, we're in Utah. And then tomorrow we go to Colorado. Colorado and then to four shows in Texas. So we only got six left. So it's kind of like the end of it. But yeah, it's good. It was like pretty much all of October, right? Yeah. 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 With a trek like that, I assume it's a, it's a bus, right? You're on a... Yeah. It's on a yeah. <laughs> bus that's been uh, sort of playing up a bit. <laughs> Any stories worth sharing from the road? The generator uh, keeps turning off, so yeah. um, so there's no aircon or anything, and then fridges stop working, and you wake up and there's like melted ice and water and shit on the floor, and <laughs> just the little things that end up sort of playing on your mind and turn into big things. So yeah, gives us something gives us something to argue about, which is good. Yeah, right. Well, you've got you've got a tour manager. Sounds like a pretty solid unit. Yeah, yeah. he's really really good. Yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome. He's not good at um, he's not a mechanic though, so he can't fix the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Low altitude living, record number four. Congrats! Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. It's a little different. I. It, it's so interesting to to be hearing these post COVID records, because um, there's a lot finally coming out. I'd love to hear, yeah, the story of the the making of the album, how long it was in the works, how especially how it was impacted by the last couple of years, because it's like been absolutely nuts, and you guys have been touring solidly for a really long time. Like it's a big part of your lifestyle now. And I wondered if the sound of the record is a result of some of that, but I don't know the timing. So t tell me a bit about that. Well, basically we were looking to go on, do the tour that we've done this year, actually twice to Europe, twice to the States, um, two years ago to sort of close out the Lonely Diamond cycle. And then all of a sudden no one could travel anywhere. So we, we decided to pivot once the gigs were postponed for a while and, and, and try and write another record. And I guess our sort of method wasn't really much different to the last records, but the one way it was different was we just had all that extra time. You know, it was kind of, we were kind of forced to just hang out in Australia, you know, back at home and just do something. So we wrote this record and yeah, basically we had an, an unlimited sort of amount of time. We didn't really have an end date. Yeah. Um, when we first that, started, did you guys? I know you guys have worked at Grove in the past. Was that was was a bunch of it done between home and Grove? We recorded it at the Grove, but we did most of the demoing and all that sort of stuff was done in like Airbnbs in Coffs Harbour and Bungwall near like Foster and stuff like that. We just yeah, we kind because a few of the guys were still living in Sydney and a few of us were up around Byron area and then. Yeah, so we'd kind of like book a house sort of midway-ish and then we'd meet there and then finish demos and muck around and that was kind of where the bulk of it was put together and then, yeah, the final recording process was done at the Grove. Yeah, nice. It's nice to see that Callum's uh, still well and truly embedded into the production side of things. For those who don't know, um, it's, it's much better hearing it from you guys. Can you tell us a bit about that history and, and his involvement? We've worked with Callum for a very for long, long time, time yeah. yeah. Um, and he's produced and and helped us demo pretty much all the songs for the last. I think every record, every record besides one, besides the first one, we met him on the second EP that we did. Cool. And then pretty much ever since then, he's kind of been hanging around and helping us do stuff and doing our front of house as well. 
which is really good. And um, yeah, so he just comes and kind of sets up a little makeshift studio and then we can go from there. And then it's nice to have everything recorded, even when we're just jamming and mucking around. So you've always got something to go back to if you like a section or whatever. It's good to, and it's good to have someone in the room doing that. Doing so that, we don't yeah. have to get up every time and hit record and hit that. He's sitting there. Yeah. The team that you, the team that you get to build when, when, you know, when there's money and a band, these are the unsung heroes, right? It's, it's so yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I guess at the end of this record, uh, Low Altitude Living, we were sort of mucking around with, um, with the mixes and we weren't, we weren't hundred percent happy. And we, we sort of went looking to get it mixed by a few other people. And we got some work, work back that we, we hoped it would be, you know, refreshing and different and something to wrap our ears around, but it, it didn't really work out. And by then the, the deadlines were creeping up. And so we went back with Cal and we had another mixing session and, and ironed out pretty much all the wrinkles that, that we were worried about. So yeah, that really was kind good. of cool as well. So we, we tried to, we tried to work with, with some other people other than Callum, but at this time round, it, it just, it just couldn't happen. So we were really happy that it, that it did work out. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, I'm sure he's stoked and it sounds great. The record is. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. It's a bit of a, a kind of, lo there's a longing in the record. It's a bit introspective. I, I don't know about your writing process, but especially, you know, there's reference. I, I feel like this is a band on the road who can't wait to get home, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> tell us a bit about the writing process and, and if I've kind of hit the mark there a little bit. Well, Baden writes all the lyrics. And um, a lot of the songs, the majority of the songs were his sort of stemmed from his, you know, original ideas that he'd been strumming on a, an acoustic guitar by himself. And you probably did hit the, hit, the, hit the mark there a bit because he was, we were probably sort of, all these ideas were just kicking around in our own heads as we were coming off the back of a really busy year and getting ready to, to go overseas for a, for a whole other year, you know, coming up. So... Yeah, maybe maybe we kind of felt like as we started writing that and, and we were stuck at home for all that time, we probably felt like, you know, we were happy to be there, happy to have the time off and, and in a quite a positive mindset at the time, I think. So even though, you know, it was quite a hectic time in the world, I don't think, um, I, I don't think we came off too much worse. And once we realised that, it's probably probably flowed out into the music a bit yeah he would have started writing some of those lyrics while we were touring and yeah. doing that in the busy year so so yeah it definitely sort of came forth in this record that's what it feels like for sure yeah and it was a great choice as a single i love the video interestingly there's a couple of tracks that have popped off on spotify um you know like infinitely more than the single uh i i meant to make a note of what that track was but do you know what what do you attribute that to do you know what's going on there no, nah, um, we don't know. No, nah, I haven't really been looking at them yeah. too much. But we know Deepest Darkness has been received well. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, right. And and we've been playing that live this tour. Uh, and people people kind of dig it. And we've heard people people digging it online. So and it's it's a different sound than what we normally do. Yeah, and there's a bunch of other ones that are mixed. Like a lot of our friends from home really like West Coast and like ones where we sort of didn't think it was going to be a like I know up people's alley, but yeah, people are digging it. So it's good. It's good to have like a sort of a nice range of songs that sort of suited for different people. What I love about, I mean, I, I don't want to say the digital age, but I love that, you know, a band can make decisions and their, their la label can make decisions, but then the fans decide what's. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Six more shows before you wind up this tour. Uh, so we've caught you kind of three quarters of the way through. I know you are playing Falls. That's probably in December, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, yep. Do you get a little break before you? Before yeah. That? We've got, once we get home, we've got a. We've basically got November and December off, besides a couple of rehearsals to really tighten the new record live. And um, yeah, so that but that'll be nice to be home because we've been on the road all year. So finally get a few months off and yeah. And then keen to play to some Aussie crowds again for Falls. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. It's been a while yeah. since we've done that too, so. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Awesome. Well, look, thanks for joining us. Great to have you join Happy and congrats on the record and I'm sure the rest of the tour will be uh, amazing. Hope the generator 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> should be fine. Too much. <laughs> we'll have to start fiddling around with it soon. We've got no idea. Yeah. Um. Thanks for having us on, man. Yeah, thanks for yeah, the support. Well, our Cheers. pleasure. And yeah, when you're back home, we will have you back through Happy at some point and uh, yeah. have to do, do some fun stuff here. Can't wait. Sounds Love good. It. Thanks, awesome. Man. Thanks, Dan. Good to see yeah. you. Ciao.